Hey, what's up guys? Solaris Orion here, and today I'm going to be talking about Black Ops 2. And today I have a Black Ops 1 gameplay for you. It's Search and Destroy. I'm pretty sure I go 10 and 0. Uh, but I'm not too sure. It, it's 10 and 0 at the very least. Um, I got this gameplay about a year ago, and this is basically the first time watching it again. And, oh, well, I watched it before I did this commentary, but I didn't really pay attention to it. But it was actually really interesting to see the way I played back then. Because, um, I didn't realise that, but I played different, uh, and sort of, when I started playing Modern Warfare 3, I sort of, sort of like, adapted the way I played, if that makes sense, to the game. Because... In my opinion, they're like two completely different games. I don't know how to explain, but, um, like, I don't know. They're both the obvious shooting games, but I think the variety of perks change the gameplay, sort of. That's just my opinion, anyway. Um, but yeah, as I said before, I'm going to be giving you a few thoughts, a few of my thoughts on Black Ops 2. I actually, around two weeks ago, I wasn't excited at all for Black Ops 2. I was sort of just like, oh yeah, it's another Call of Duty game. Just another, um, you know, Call of Duty game that's going to have some disappointing stuff in it. It's going to be fun, but there's... it's, Yeah, I've just sort of been playing Call of Duty for a while, and it's just sort of another game for me. Um, but... Then I went and pre-ordered it, and I got really excited about it. <laughs> I don't know why, but, um, yeah, it's it just sort of hit me, and now I'm really excited. But I haven't been watching too many gameplays on it or, like, you know, um, information videos. So I don't really know much about it. This isn't really an informational video. It's just sort of me just giving my thoughts about it and what I'm excited to see about it, I guess. <laughs> that doesn't really make sense, but anyway, I'll continue on. So this gun here, I really do hope they bring it back. The M14. Because this, this was a good gun. This was my favourite gun and I don't believe it's, uh, it was overpowered in Black Ops. Yeah, sure, it, it like was two bullets a kill but it wasn't overpowered like the mk14 this had sort of had more recoil and um it didn't shoot as fast or from my experience it didn't and um the aim sight wasn't as good as the mk14 in modern warfare 3 so it was kind of fun to you know master the gun um so i really do hope they bring back this gun um another thing i hope they bring back is the napalm strike i heard from a friend that they aren't bringing it back but um i used to love that kill streak i used to like i remember i even made up my own little call whenever i used it i'd say okay i'm gonna torch up the enemy team now and then i'd lay in you know the napalm strike over them and they would all get burnt and stuff it was just a good time I, I love the fact too how you could trap them by like putting one down because they couldn't walk through the fire so you could like trap them across the whole half of the map and it was just good I loved it um another thing I love about this game uh was the whole thing where you could create your own emblem um, I love that because I thought it added a personal touch to it. Um, also the clan tag on your gun. You know, people would pick up your gun and say, oh yeah, that's, that's his sort of gun. That's a cool emblem. I'm going to try and make that. All that sort of, st sort of stuff. And I liked my own little emblem thing. Um, it was, had my initials, SO, Solaris Orion. And I was pretty proud of that. I, I love wearing it on my gun. Um, and yeah. 
Um, just another thing. Of, oh, just before I leave that topic, um, I have spoken to Slaris Simbad, and his famous laughing man is coming back. He has confirmed it, so look forward to seeing that when you come across us on Black Ops 2. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Um, I guess that's a little personal joke. But, um, yeah, anyway, continuing on. Just two more things I'm looking forward to. The obvious one, zombies. Who isn't looking forward to zombies? The hours of good fun. You'll find yourself, like, it'll be one o'clock in the morning and you'll go, okay, one more game of zombies. And then in no time it'll be four o'clock and you'll be on level 30 or some shit and just be like, oh, this is ridiculous, but I can't go to bed because I'm doing so well. I I just used to like that. Um, And the last thing I'm pretty much looking forward to, or the last thing I can think of now, is the they're bringing back Nuketown. I love this map. This was my favorite map. This firing range and jungle, I remember, I absolutely loved him, but overall Nuketown was my favourite from day one. I just loved the whole look of the buildings, It it's a small map, it has hectic game battles, and I've had so much fun playing on this map in Black Ops, so I'll be... Looking forward to seeing the Nuketown 25, 2025, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, guys, that's all I'm going to be speaking about today regarding Black Ops. Just before I go, I wanted to give a good mate's YouTube channel a shout-out. His name is Olympus, and he's a really good Call of Duty player. He just started up his um new channel just the other day and just uploaded his first gameplay and it is definitely worth checking out if you're into like team deathmatch gameplays where people go like 47 to 3 or something like that this kind of score isn't uncommon for olympus and he doesn't camp at all so go check out that channel he's got one vid up and he's got a few subscribers but I'm sure he would love more. So, um, yeah, just give it a subscribe and y you won't be disappointed. can guarantee you that. Um, yeah, it's starting up commentaries and I'm looking forward to it. Anyway, guys, I'm off. If you like this video, just give it a like and a comment and let us know whether you're looking forward to Black Ops 2. Anyway, guys, I'm off. Be sure to check out Olympus's channel.